Father Christopher O'Connor is the pastor of Blessed Virgin Mary, Help of Christians Church. He joins us now. Father, thank you for being here. Thank you There's for a lot me. of pain, sadness, and anger going on right now. Tell me about that. Uh, people are just very upset with the recent uh, revelation of uh, ex-Cardinal McCarrick and then also the Pennsylvania Grand Jury Report. And then there's this frustration like, aren't we done? What's been doing done? And uh, they feel betrayed a lot by the leadership in the church. Mm -hmm. So there's just a lot of anger and fear. A lot of fear. Fear. Because where's the church going? What's going on? And it, it's the um, feel there's a disconnect sometimes between them and the hierarchy. Mm -hmm. Now another question. Tonight you have the Holy Hour of Reparation. What are you hoping comes out of that service? Well, my point was, uh, well, I got this from prayer. I thought the Lord was asking me to do this, and uh, particularly on his feast day, St. John the Baptist, on his martyrdom, and bring people together and chances to be a family and pray together for the church and pray particularly uh, for reparation for those harmed by sex abuse within the church, and hopefully by our prayers we can help bring about change. So you found yourself praying, and you think God told you to do this? Oh, I was praying uh, because the weekend after the Pennsylvania Grand Jury, uh, I knew I had to preach. So I told the other priest that I would be preaching at all the masses. And uh, I was praying before the Blessed Sacrament in the Rectory Chapel, and Lord, what do you want me to do? And I've been reading a lot of other blogs and reports, and so I came up with three things. And one was to start to say my good archangel prayer after every mass, and then the holy hour, reparation. Um, because I think pe that's something like, I could do that. And mm -hmm. people come out and they could pray and then listen to music. And we're going to pray the Divine Mercy Chapel together. And uh, I think this is a great way for uh, a family to come together. Now, another thing you're doing is the town hall, which is on two Wednesday, 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 September 5th. You'll host a parish town hall meeting. Right. Um, and you'll be moderating it. Right. What will that be like? What do you expect people to say? I don't know. Uh, yeah. Again, I got the idea from another blog I read. And it's just people an outlet to express what they're feeling. So what I want to do first is trying to explain what we have done in the Diocese of Brooklyn so they know like nothing's not been done. I want yeah. to know we have been doing things to protect children and, and reach out to victims and so forth. Your part, you know what they want to say and give them a chance. Well, sometimes people just need to talk. Mm -hmm. And uh, if they want to yell, let them yell. If they want to scream, let them scream. If they just want to ask questions, say what's going on or they don't understand. Or if they want to ask questions, what, how does the church work? It's an opportunity just to ask questions and let them feel like their voice has been heard. And any major stuff that I think the bishop should hear, then I will relay that to him. Right. Now, another question I have. You said the scandals hurt even more because priests should be a reflection of Christ and not Satan. Tell me about how this has affected you personally. You wear a collar. I have not got any bad feedback. Uh, um, even back in 02, I remember I was walking the streets in my former parish, and a police car pulled up. And then say, hey guys, and the cops say, hey father, don't worry, keep your chin up. Mm -hmm. And I was like, what do you mean? He says, we know what it's like when one of our guys does a bad thing, we all look bad. We know he's a good priest out there. So I've got more support. I've gotten a lot of messages, emails, uh, people stopping and saying, we love you, we love our priests. Say so they know it's not everybody. Right. Um, but anytime a priest hurts somebody, it hurts us all. I mean, it hurts the church. And uh, I want people to count to Jesus for me because we're supposed to be acting in the person of Christ as a priest. You know, uh, it's not about being a cool priest or a great priest. It's about a priest who brings people to Jesus. And that's all I want for my people. Right. Thank you so much, Father, and thank you for being here with us. No problem. Thank you.